can this Cleveland chipper beat out my favorite chipper of all time? What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have my brand new chipper here. I've actually played around with it, so giving you my thoughts after I have gained it a little while here. This is a Cleveland chipper designated by that C right there. This is their Smart Soul, new for 2022. Now, I will say, I think the only thing new about this in 2022 is this black finish here. So, looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of black finishes. I think this club is generally unchanged from the silver finish that they had. But this is the chipper that I have been gaming. This is the Hot Launch 4 from Tour Edge. It is a fantastic chipper. I have absolutely loved every minute with this. I've actually customized it with this stepless steel shaft here. It's really big. It's got this big mallet putter look to it. It's actually super easy to hit, but it left me wanting in a few ways. And so I thought maybe I'd give this Cleveland a try and see if it's going to snag a place in my bag. Now, obviously the big difference here is that it's a much smaller shape than my hot launch. You can see that it's actually pretty narrow. I mean, while this is pretty wide, I'd call it about an inch and a half back here. You have these different contours. So you actually have a decent amount of bounce. You can see how that front edge here is rolled just a little bit. And then you have this lower portion right here. So that should give you a little bit of forgiveness. Then you kind of have this raised back edge here. Now, if you look at the back here, what's really interesting about this is that it is quite hollow. It's actually kind of spaceship looking and the cut goes way back here but you can see how much material is up here so i think that's going to keep the weight low for you now the other thing that i love about this is that it actually has more loft than this chipper so this is a 37 degree chipper which is actually really common you can see it says 37 right up there and that makes it about an eight iron so it's really a bump and run club not bump and grind that's something else but this chipper i think is something like 43 degrees so it has much more loft which will give you a little bit more height a little bit more altitude help those balls drop a little bit kind of shorten up the run so to me this is actually a little bit more wedge like where that is a little bit more iron like now i will say i pulled off the heads here and weighed them this one came in at about seven or eight grams lighter than the other head i will tell you I think the big piece of that is that there's just less material up here, but they've done a nice job of actually keeping a lot of weight despite the small shape right here. I actually went out and gamed this on the golf course, never even practiced with it, and my first chip with this was actually pretty awesome. I hit the flag stick, which is pretty amazing. stick dude sold <laughs> wow all right really different lies on this but first of all that first shot actually hit the flag stick and now is sitting 10 inches away from the hole this one was kind of a duff, but probably the worst lie, the most awkward one. This was the last shot at about four feet there. Oh, six feet. That one's less than a foot. And then this one, I hit pretty long. So I've got this one coming back downhill and that one's probably 20 feet. But I tell you what, I don't know that I would have hit four shots that consistently with my wedge. So. That's a pretty good test so far. I also did a little drill where I wanted to see if I could make some chip shots and put the ball on top of each other. And I found that this is pretty consistent. I do love the feel of it as well. One of the things that I was worried about is having less material up here, a little less weight, smaller flange, less forgiveness, but it kind of cut right through everything. In fact, right now the courses are in pretty bad conditions. They are really spongy, soft, they're kind of muddy. The grass hasn't grown yet. The grass is pretty dead, it's short. Everything is a pretty tight lie. It's pretty unforgiving, and so this really actually did quite well in those conditions, so I was really impressed with that. Now, I will say that on the shorter chips, even those were pretty good. Now, for me, a chipper is a club that I don't want to really take a full swing with. I'd rather do that with a wedge. So for me, I really like using a putting stroke because that helps me keep that club head really square, puts it right on line, and takes some of the unpredictability out of the shot that a longer wedge might introduce for me. So one of the things that I really wanted to see here is whether I could do some short chips, and especially with the 
higher loft here. I think that was possible. I was absolutely able to do five, six yard chips. And then even the longer chips I had no problem with it. So what that does is it really makes everything from about 25 yards and in when I need to chip it actually much more predictable. Cause that's actually a really hard shot for me with clubs. I don't play enough to have really good feel for those distances, especially when you're trying to flop it. So something like this allows me to aim at the hole and run it to the hole. And even if it goes by, I'm giving myself a chance at least for hitting that hole. So I really loved it. I love the performance it played as well or even better in some cases than my hot launch now there are some things that i really don't like about this and let me tell you about those first of all the black finish here i'm not a really big fan of i feel like it kind of wears over time and it looks a little janky and for me low reflectivity that's not a big problem now i think the 2021 model of this is just silver and if you don't like black as well you could probably just get last year's model and i think it's exactly the same thing just a different finish the other thing that i don't like about this is that it doesn't really sit square to me so when i put it down on a flat surface it really closes that toe up now i think that is just a function of the way the sole is designed the sole is designed to cut through stuff and not really sit flat and square so it's just one of those things where i almost always hold the club in the air and line it up and then put the club down so it's not one of those clubs that you can just sit down by the ball and then grip and have it be square the other thing that is just a personal preference for me is that i like a lot of weight on my short game clubs so i actually replaced the shaft with this steel fiber 125 gram shaft so this is the first time i've ever played steel fiber kind of looks like steel as you can see there but it's got more weight than the stock graphite shaft you can get it with a stock steel or graphite shaft i like the feel of graphite it's just softer in my hands i've got tender fingers and so i love graphite it just doesn't sting but the graphite shaft has a lower swing weight and so what i wanted to do was get that up to steel like weights and the steel fiber shaft kind of does that so that's pretty nice the other thing that i will say that i really love about this is that it looks kind of like a wedge it looks like every other club in your bag this hot launch chipper is very big it looks like you're carrying a second mallet putter and because it's so big it actually takes up a lot of space in your bag and it's also very obviously a chipper so when you pull it out sometimes people will ask hey is that a legal club and chippers are totally legal so don't mind them but between taking up a lot of space and obviously being a specialized club if you are worried about that i'm not particularly but a smaller club like this is just going to take up as much space as any other iron in your bag and when you pull it out it's not going to really telegraph that it's anything other than just an iron or a wedge at a glance it looks like every other golf club so i like that as well so it could be a really good way for someone to add a chipper to the bag that is kind of on the fence about it but i tell you what i've had a few friends over the last couple of years here that have seen me play chippers and have tried them out and have added chippers to their bag so i think a lot of people would benefit from having more tools in their bag for the short game how many of us are not on the green in regulation but pretty close and how good is that 10 15 20 yard shot well something like this can make you a lot more consistent so i really like it and i will also say i don't think this chipper breaks the bank at about 150 bucks it's actually not badly priced there are a lot of golf clubs including off-brand chippers or micro brands or the infomercial brands and cleveland obviously has a good reputation for making wedges and i think this is as good as anything else that i've ever played by them and it absolutely performs and it frees up a little space in my bag so if you are looking to add a chipper that doesn't look like a chipper that looks like every other golf club but will really help you in the short game because that is going to make your golf game a little bit better i'll put a link to this in the description below peter von panda out so much deeper we can live better than everything